if we never try how will we know if you were on tiktok you know what i mean <laughs> channel my name is Nadja if you're new here stay a while we arrived today is week two of our mental health Monday series and I got some stuff to talk to you about today where do I even begin lately I've been having like my youth channel obviously heavy on my mind and videos that I want to post for you guys and video ideas that I want to post on like my social medias and stuff like that um, for you guys and it's like every time I get to thinking right because I got the ideas the ideas come to me they come to me and they 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 just like I'm pretty sure they're great when I finally get around to doing them then this is where you know I wouldn't classify it really as self-sabotage I feel it was more along the lines of imposter syndrome and like negative self-talk um so i start to think right like when i'm like it usually hits me like when i'm recording or when i'm editing and it's more like a feeling of like who are you like to be posting stuff like this like so just imagine me typing doo -doo 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 -doo, editing a video or me recording hey y'all welcome back to my channel and in comes this thought don't nobody give a fuck about your life like, who the fuck cares about you going to Barnes and Nobles and getting bubble tea? Who cares about what you struggle with mentally, with mental health wise this week? Don't nobody give a shit. And then here comes me. Really? They don't. But then, obviously, you know, again, I say it's a progress, it's like a work in progress. I've been trying to like overcome that. And I've been doing pretty good. Y'all have to admit, I've been doing pretty good. I've been posting every week, consistently every week. And I've been recording, I've been doing my thing. Like, I've been doing a thing. I'm not even gonna lie. I am proud of myself. Set myself in the back, period. But I was so like this recent time, right? Cause I, I have a feeling that like, as I continue to be more consistent and build the habit of posting as much as I am and like, you know, really getting into my content and everything like that, I start to feel kind of like this sense of like, it's gonna grow. Like I can feel that in my spirit. Like I really have that and feeling like as I continue to edit videos, post my videos and like do all this other stuff, I feel, you know, like I can do this every day, all day of my life. Like not all day, but like, I can really just like make a career of this. Like it just feels so satisfying, right? I get a satisfy, I'm satisfied doing this. So with that, it's like my anxiety will start kicking in, right? Cause I'm just like, what makes me, um, for example, like, I, I think like what makes me on the same level as those more famous and successful YouTubers. I'm like, you're 26 years old trying to be a content creator like what so like it's just like those thoughts that come in and i've been trying to like fight back on them but they feel really heavy like i start to i start to really feel like i can't do certain things like i put i chuck it up to i can't but i'm just like i can i deserve to be in this space just as much as anyone else is and something i'm doing something that can potentially help others as well as myself like you know i'm still working and i'm still growing on this platform and it's like somebody's gonna see that and get inspired maybe to ch to create their own youtube channel right or to start their healing journey like and to feel that they're not alone and that it's you know to normalize these feelings because something that i've come to realize is that Feeling these feelings and like having these thoughts have always been a way in my life and I feel like they did run my life um, at some point 
and I allowed them and I believed them at some point but like these negative thoughts and these negative these negative thoughts and like this intrusive intruder syndrome mentality I feel like it's it's something there like you know like it comes from someplace else and like deeper than my my understanding at the moment so you know I want to tell you guys exactly how I've been kind of dealing with this um so number one I don't don't I don't react for example people uh, my, my negative thought is who are you to be posting on this platform like nobody gives a shit about your life I don't sit here and be like you're right nobody cares and just don't post anymore I did that before like I used to do that a lot which is why I started my YouTube channel and I did not finish not finish but like I did not I posted like a couple videos and then I stopped because those thoughts were there and those thoughts told me like you're not important nobody gives a shit about your life kind of shit so I didn't acknowledge it as a fact to start I didn't acknowledge it as a fact I did not think about it as if that's the truth that that's my reality I didn't really think about it as my reality then you know I acknowledge the feeling okay why am I feeling this way but something new that I've been actually doing recently that actually has been helping and it helps me with the process of my thoughts and the process of coming back not coming back but like the process of my thoughts and like the process of kind of breaking things down and breaking the way I'm feeling and where it comes from the kind of breakdown of like certain emotions and certain habits I've been kind of using my voice memos I've been talking as if as if I'm like on a podcast or like I'm talking to you guys like I am now like I'll talk that way through the voice message and then eventually like as I'm talking things will start to come to light things will start to come to my attention and that used to happen when I was journaling it hasn't been happening a lot and I still do journal um but I'm more journal just to get feelings out but as far as like to really process things I use my words like I speak out loud like as if I'm talking to someone because I feel like when I just think about it it stays in my head and then everything just starts getting cloudy and then I go on an anxiety a whole anxiety attack full-blown anxiety attack just from fucking trying to figure it out so I just rather get it out than to like keep it in but I've been doing that and it actually been very helpful with processing things like I've been realizing a lot which I'm gonna mention to you kind of today like what I've kind of realized in doing that throughout the week girl when it comes to like the negative thoughts and like the imposter syndrome something that i've noticed that can be a connection i would have to dig a little bit deeper than that but like something that i feel like it could be a connection to my feelings and my thoughts on this kind of particular situation would be i think they call it like the the, the older sibling syndrome i don't know some type of syndrome but like it's like some being the oldest sibling is not easy especially for a big family heavy on the big family but in general it's not easy kind of struggled a little bit growing up which kind of has made it made me who i am today but you know i did not have everything when i grew up right i wasn't rich my mom has struggled a lot growing up with me and then everything like that and with that she was also a single mom so with that my obligation for my always been told like my obligation as an older sibling is to be an example for my siblings i had to always get the good grades i had to be the first one to show my siblings like hey this is how we act type thing um so i wasn't allowed to feel emotions big emotions really me being the older sibling i had to have everything together like, you know, like I always had to help reach out and help others because I had to make sure my siblings were okay and good. I used to have to um, take care of my siblings, look after my siblings and everything like that. Um, me needing certain things emotionally was like me being sensitive, me being um, a baby in other words. So like my siblings had reason to feel the way that they felt and do the things that they were doing because they were they were younger. They were kids, like they were young. The younger is always the youngest siblings always needed more and their need was more 
important than my need. So, and I'm not in any way, shape, or form bashing my mom for like how I was raised because at the end of the day, I do understand that she raised me to the best that she could. Being a single mom is not easy. And then growing up the way she did, like, you know, like for what she knows as I'm being a mom, what being a mom is, how she sees it and how she views it is how she views it. She did the best that she could what she was given. And I really do appreciate my mom for what she did and how, you know, I just appreciate my mom 100%. But, you know, I did notice these things. I internalized it and I felt as if, like, I was not allowed to take space anywhere really like as how I felt on the inside like and that kind of like internalized you know no one really cares about your life no <laughs> what's going on with you and it comes down to like me kind of suppressing my needs and suppressing my wants and not feeling that I was important really what I want is not important. Everybody else is more important than me. That's where the people pleasing comes in. Yeah? Okay. I'm always like, you good? You okay? You good? You okay? You good? You okay? Pleasing everyone else, making sure everybody else feels loved, making sure everyone else feels great and good before I can really kind of focus on myself and focus on, you know, me feeling good. And even then, even then, it was like an issue for me to do that because it was like, I don't know where to start i don't know how to do this i'm used to helping others and being there for everybody else but i never really knew how to be there for myself and i kind of attached that that kind of i'm gonna say kind of became my personality like you, you were that nice person i was always like i wanted to be known as that nice person that was always helping others and like helping people and you know and always being there like i wanted to be the reliable friend reliable sister reliable daughter reliable <laughs> granddaughter like you know any title i wanted to be reliable for everyone else by myself um but myself i couldn't do that for ask me why i don't know i'm struggling to kind of get out of that mindset of like making sure like my family feels up while it is important and i as i mentioned in my previous video on like connecting while i'm healing it is important for like others to feel loved throughout this process but I, I'm learning that I need to listen to my body and listen to my well, my mind and my body, like be more connected with myself and kind of really listen and understand what I want and actually follow through and stick to it. Like, you know, and like actually give my, meet my own needs. And I kind of feel guilty for doing that when it comes, especially when it comes to my family. I feel guilty for doing that because it's like, they're more important you know them feeling loved is more important them feeling you know important to me is more important because i wouldn't want anyone to feel like i wouldn't want to feel i don't want anyone to feel that way because of me because i know how it feels to feel not unimportant you know so for example the last couple weeks i feel like i've been very busy with work um my youtube channel and i've been having um certain events and stuff like that but it was just a lot going on so i slowly i slowly started to feel myself burning out i'm getting to the point where i'm i have nothing to give towards anything myself towards work towards my youtube channel like i literally feel myself about to burn out and about to be hit that anxiety and depression that low anxiety and depression range and i feel that's mostly because as i mentioned i, I think i mentioned this in the prime um in a prior, my prior video i used to take a day out of the week or like once every other week to do nothing and i repeat nothing like i literally would lay in bed <laughs> curled up in a bowl watching k-dramas watching youtube watching whatever the fuck i watch or reading literally i have nothing to do this day i'm not recording i'm not editing i'm not talking to anyone really really texting i'm on tiktok scrolling like i'm literally doing nothing okay and it allows me to kind of restore that energy kind of right um 
some people call i like even though in these days sometimes i do feel bad about just laying here doing nothing the next day that's when i do the reset and then i'm feeling refreshed right i don't i feel ready to tackle anything throughout the week right so again it usually happens the week after my solo dates because again i'm taking myself out and i'm being consistent with myself okay all right so with that being said so you know the day that i was supposed to that was kind of scheduled to be my doing nothing day um my my, my chill my rest day or whatever there was like a, a birthday party happening for my niece or whatever and it's hard it's hard okay i was like you know trying to muster up the strength and muster up the mental mental uh, the, the strength the mental strength to get it to do it it was kind of hard for me eventually i came to the decision to not go you know i felt guilty for making that decision i did I felt like, oh my gosh, like my family is gonna feel a type of way, they're gonna hate me, and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, mind you, these are all assumptions. I had to come to the realization that like, I'm listening to my body. My body needs to stay, my mind needs to stay. Like, I'm prioritizing myself. And I'm listening to my body and I'm listening to what I need and what it needs. And some people may not resonate with that. You know, some people, some people won't resonate with that. And that's in reality. A lot of people won't resonate with what is best for me and what works for me. A lot of people won't resonate with that. And that's fine. And I feel like at the end of the day, who is going to get me out of a place? When I decide, when I go spiraling down on my anxiety and depression, who's taking me out of there? My family is not doing that. Okay? So it's like, at the end of the day, I do love my family. I feel like, you know, there's not, there's going to be more birthdays to come. There was more birthdays in the past that I was there for. And I feel like one birthday is not going to make or break my relationship with my family. I hope if it does so be it but at the end of the day i feel prioritizing i'm at this the season in my life where i'm prioritizing my 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 peace and my balance that i have worked so hard to to maintain that it comes before anything else and if my family does not agree or they don't respect that then it's on them that's a them problem it really does not have anything to do with me and again i say i love my family to death but i do love myself also and i know what i need and i know what my body needs and i know what my mind needs and it needs this in order for me to really show up fully for my family and be 100 percent aware and attentive to my family without feeling you know overwhelmed or without feeling you know like just for me to be my 100% self with my family and to be 100% present and be there for my family the way I want to, I would need that time to myself and I would need to prioritize myself. And if my family does not agree with that, that's a problem problem. End the discussion. I, I, I can't say anything more than that. And that goes for like friends as well, you know? If my friends don't understand that I'm not in the best place mentally to really do anything and go anywhere with them, like, you know, to do anything, if I'm not in a, in a place, I'm not in a place. And if people don't respect that, then that's their choice. And, you know, because our friends, family, all that. But I definitely felt hundred loads times better after I took that day. I needed that day. I needed that day. And I took it and I think about if I didn't take that day, where are we? If I didn't take that day, I would freaking lose my mind. Like I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you. I probably would've went back into the old habit of shutting down. So I'm proud of myself. 
Again, I say so proud of myself for making that decision because it's, it's important. To prioritize myself is important, just as important as prioritizing my family because I am more, I am just as important as them. Period. To be alone, I'm definitely going to have a conversation with my therapist about, I couldn't see my therapist um, this week because it was Thanksgiving and I see him every Thursday. Um, so that's something definitely I will be mentioning next week when I speak to him, um, among other things. But I suggest if you feel that feeling, you're going to feel guilty for a time. It is a natural feeling, you know, especially when you're so set in being a people pleaser. Like, you know, like you just so used to being a people pleaser. It's like you're going to feel that way. And that is okay because you're trying to get out of a habit. But the only way to get out of it is to do it, right? You have to just do it. Like, it, it, if you feel, if you feel like they're gonna hate you, or if you feel like they're not gonna understand, they're not. They may not, but they also may. You know, you never know. And if they don't, that's a them problem. Because it's like, everybody does for self. Everybody else does for self. Because nobody's really going to be there for you like you are. And no one is going to stick up for you like you are. Nobody's going to do that. And I had to come to that realization a while ago. But at the end of the day, I feel that we need. I need to be the one to validate my own feelings. Like, I know that this is what I need. And I know that I'm making the right decision. I don't need anybody else's approval to do that. I'm validating my own feelings to the point where, like, girl, I can't do it. I can't do it. We're trying to, you know, work on validating our own feelings so that we don't have to look for external validation. Because what the hell is that? If we never try, how will we know? If you were on TikTok, you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope I wasn't rambling on too much. I hope. And I hope that anything that I said makes sense. I'm going to try to edit it to the best of my ability. <laughs> so you guys understand what the fuck I'm talking about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far. W. Comment down below what you guys have been struggling with this week. You know, give some or give some words of encouragement for people who are going through something similar to what I'm going through. If you have any self-help book recommendations, please leave it down in the comment. Let me know. Comments. Let me know. Because your girl needs all the help she can get, babe. Like, listen, we got to help each other. I would love to hear from you guys and love to hear what you guys have to say and what advice you have. And you never know. Somebody might need your piece of advice never know but anyways thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and i love you guys toodaloo bye